Welcome back to the JSFL Week 9 now. We're in Week 9 of the season, and to kick it off on this Thursday night primetime, we have the 5-3 th Detroit Power heading to the 7-1 Seattle Natives. A rematch from two or three weeks ago, as, but now it's in the Natives territory. So last time the Natives did prevail against the Power. And here comes out the Natives. After two weeks losing to the LA Earthquake, they go last week, last week a little bit more on track and beat the Cleveland Pirates, but almost losing, not scoring points really, not scoring a touchdown until the fourth quarter. So let's see if they can face a little more high-powered team in in um standing as the Detroit Power comes to Seattle. That Sheldon Romero tied for most touchdown receptions in the league. Steve Watts is a return man for the day. As the Power lost last week, and they're hoping to get back and rebound this week, as they are winning their division by plenty, but they want to be a little more high in the standings, probably. As let's get this game underway in Week Nine Thursday night. What they get done here. And the kick is away, and let's get this game started. Turn it at the 5. Watts. This is one up to the 31, and that's where the power will start their first drive of the night. Now let's get into Sheldon Richardson's stats on today's this season of the JSFL. Richardson is my bad for this. 151 completions, 191 attempts, 199 attempts, 1,770 yards, and 18 touchdowns and three interceptions for Sheldon Richardson. I see he's been a killer. That's this season, being second in the MVP race, right behind his halfback, Terry Little. Now first and ten, Richardson. And the offense are out. Richardson hands this one off to Terry Little, the MVP candidate right now. Little breaks the move, and he gets it out to the 50 on his first rush. That's 19 yards, and a first down Detroit power. And that's why he is the number one candidate for MVP right now. He's well deserving of it. Look at that, just straightforward rushing. Also, the great blocking by this O line. It's a really underrated O line thing. Nice move he made. If he broke that tackle, that one could have went for end zone. But Jared McKay was the one to bring him down there. First and ten at the fifty now. Richardson, fake to Little. Richardson trying to use his legs, but they're gonna call that a sack. Stephen Hernandez won't let him get past the. He got sacked at the line of scrimmage, but they're gonna call it a sack. Stephen Hernandez is not gonna let that one break big. This team knows how dangerous Richardson is with his legs, and they were not gonna let him go off on this one. The O line not gonna respect that because that. Just drops their standings in the O line game because they give sacks. They're already not the best at that, so they're trying to rank up, and that's not going to help them. Second and ten now for the power. Still at the 50, even though it's sacked. Richardson throwing this one. Oh, it's a spin off of the defender, and that was a nice catch. That one, Walter Pratt for seven yards and a third down. Now, Bruce Goodman, the strong safety to bring him down there for this Natives team. Third and three. Offense has to make a big play here, and the defense is hoping for that not to be. Hugh Brooks is on the top. Here's Little, and he's going to be stuffed in the backfield. Little going backwards two yards, 
And it is a fourth and five. Ernest Coleman coming in there hot. Trying to get some nice run up the middle, but Coleman broke. No one was even covering for Coleman, so little goes down. And the first drive for the power proves to be non fruitful Oh, they're going for it on fourth and five. A big call here right away by the coach, but they're going to go for it. Power. Richardson. Throwing this one. That one is caught. Taylor Little up the middle. And that's a first down, Detroit. What a play by this offense. Again, those were the top two in the MVP race, and they just connected there. Fair Little and Sean Richardson. Now it's a first down. That's great play calling by the Detroit team. First and ten now at the twenty-nine. Lil up the middle, swerving. Oh, it breaks a tackle and he gets up to the sixteen yard line. So that's a nice running by Taylor Lil. Already twenty-nine yards in the day. Bruce Goodman with the tackle. That's nice blocking by the old line. You gotta give it up to them. But Lil just does the extra ness to get him the yards. And 10 now for the power inside of the red zone at 16. Little gets the handoff. Little trying to bounce to the outside. Little. And that is in the end zone. Touchdown. Detroit power. Taylor Little, his 12th touchdown on the season. Being at any halfback that wants to come close to him, you have to play a lot harder here, Natives, against this run, deep, run offense because Little is booming in the first drive. You bounce that one to the outside, and that's a touchdown for Detroit. The Owls going to have a challenge tonight as they have to fight this Detroit team. Now for the extra point attempt comes on the Detroit special teams. And that one, right through the uprights. Scoring drive, 7 plays, 68 yards in 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Now that is a pretty good scoring drive. Now we get to see what the natives will do on their first drive. Last game, no points in the fourth quarter, remember. So let's see if anything changed in this week's practice for them. Because they are the number one team still in the league, as they are 7-1 with the best record. Now the kick is away, and Seattle will have their first drive of the night. That one is kneeled in the end zone, and they're going to start the 25. So now we have Kermit Poe in the offense coming out. Kermit Poe's stats on the season, 169 completions, 231 attempts, 2,219 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. So those are his passing stats on the season. And you could make an argument with those stats. That seems better than Sean Richardson. Richardson's, what makes him really good on the point scale is he's really good with his legs. It's Kermit Poe. No stats for his legs right now. No over 50 rushing yards again, no over, no running touchdown, so that's why. But Kerpo is probably the better one throwing the ball, yes. I would agree. First and ten. Kermit Poe, throwing. This one, caught, and up to the 30-yard line. As now we can see the Seattle Natives offense. Second best O-line in the league, tied for first with the Earthquake. And that's a really good O-line. Helps Cole New out, and then on the wide receiver court, Sheldon Romero tied for the most touchdowns in the league with Chet Wood, and these tight ends have been getting these touchdowns all around. So he is a big end zone threat and the red zone threat. Kermit Poe likes to look for that guy. 
But for those deep passes, watch out for that receiving for Timothy Morgan's there too. He has the most yards in the league. Current Poe, second and five. This one goes back. Oh no, they're gonna call it to the same area. It's now it's a third and five. That one goes nowhere. Trying to get out to Colton Yu. He gets stuffed by David Medina, the linebacker. Don't know what current Pope thought was going to happen there. Maybe he was going to break a tackle, bounce out of it, but not successful. And we have a third and five now. Now, big play for both of these sides of the ball. Detroit, if they get the stop early three and out, but if Kent's, but if Seattle gets this, it's continue of the drive. Oh, throwing this one, pot, nice slants. They got the defense a little confused there. And they pick up the first down. Got Fred Williams in that one for eight yards. Nicholas Stone, the middle linebacker. They put the, what, you can see in this play, the one slam went over the other. And that kind of blocked out the linebacker from getting the incompletion. Stone was right behind him, but there was a linebacker that could have forced a hit. But the slam kind of blocked it. So that was a good play calling by Seattle there. Flag! Someone jumps off sides, I think, here. Seattle jumps off sides, and now it's going to push him back five yards. Jordan Penna. Is that one not good? You don't want to be having those types of calls. If you almost went three and out last time, you don't want to be pushed back on the next play. So now from the 33, they'll start again. When you're in the back with Poe, you gets his first carry of the game, and he gets it out to the 36. Now, we get to this Detroit Power defense. On the line, Matthew Harmon, he is a great pass rusher. Um, the middle linebacker, Nicholas Stone, great at it, but David Medea, probably the better one. And then in the backfield and secondary, Carol Allison, the free safety. Guy's been great all season, knocking away passes, getting tackles, and he getting a few picks in there. Second and 12 now for this native offense. Poe. Throwing this one. That's caught. As they get it up to the other side on Detroit side now. As Kermit Poe launches that one to Timothy Morgan. Has the most pass. Has the most receiving yards in the league. And that catch right there puts him over 600. He was at 599 before the game started. So our first ever player in JSFL history to get over 600 yards. And remember, it's only a 12-week season. So it's only going to be impossible for receivers to get 1,000-yard seasons. I don't think it will happen this year, but Timothy Morgan, he's got to prove something. Maybe he will. First and 10. Poe. Has this one, throw away, and that one is caught and taken down right away. Oh, five for five in his first five throws. Timothy Morgan to get that one. Bo on this play. That is caught. That was Crawford, I think, that is there. Yes, that was Crawford with the catch, and now it's third in inches, so interesting decision. What does Seattle go for here? And if they don't even get it, this could be fourth down territory. Third in inches here. You. Oh, it's fumbled! David Medina! 30, 20, 10, look at that speed, touchdown, Detroit Power. Oh, Timothy Morgan is down. That is really interesting. Timothy Morgan is down for the Seattle Natives.
Now the PAT attempt for Detroit. And that one is up. And it is good. And Timothy Morgan, who was in the lead for receiving yards, now in the possibility of being injured. I'll be back to you in a minute. And we are back after the break. Nothing has happened. First play of the this new drive, and that's Cole New getting stopped. Only for a yard again, though. And it is confirmed that Timothy Morgan is out for two weeks. So Timothy Morgan is gone for week nine and week wait no week ten and week nine, ten and eleven. It's technically three weeks, but he'll be back on week twelve. That's a big part of this offense missing now. Oh hit down is cool you. Seems disciplined on that play. So well, that's really interesting. So the natives lose the number one receiver in the league in terms of yards. So that's gonna hurt them. Third and twelve now. Poe throwing this one Romero, and that is for three yards. But it's fourth and nine. So that puts eyes more on Dallas Crawford and Fred Williams, and now their number three three string receiver is Mark Barry. A guy without a single catch this season. So you'll see maybe him a little more in the season now. Now the punt team is on for Seattle. Yeah, so now the punt gets taken to the twenty one as he goes nowhere. That's just surprising. Morgan is out now, and he won't be back to week 12. So this, this could hurt the Seattle's offense. So now it will be more focused on running game, I'm guessing. Because you still got, I mean, Dallas Crawford and Fred Williams can definitely be the top two. But, like, they top three receivers. And that's what made their offense so hard to guess. Because you got, per personally, Colton Yu, and you got those three receivers. So you defense had to be spread all over the place. So it would be confusing. But now you lost your number one receiver. So it's going to be hard for them. And Detroit's playing pretty good so far. It's first and 10 now for Detroit. Swing to Little. Little breaks a little bit of room. And that's to the 26. As now we get to see their offense. Detroit offense. Great old line. They only gave it up one sack so far. But that was like barely sack today. And then halfback Taylor Little. Number one MVP candidate I told you. And he's over 1,000 yards already this season. And there's also Hugh Brooks, the 99 overall wide receiver, who doesn't give as much love as he's, he should from Richardson. He has three, only 300 yards in the season. So I think he should be utilized more. But you got Taylor Little, oh, who just got stopped on that play. He's been balling out this season. So it's hard to see the show the receiver's love. Their top three receivers all have 300 yards. Hernandez was the one to stuff that up the middle linebacker. Third and eight now for the power team. I think he ought to go past here. Richardson on third and eight. Throwing this one still. LA could not get the extra yard, so it's fourth and inches. And if I'm the head coach, Jerry convert on fourth and five. So I'm saying, let's go for this, guys. We're up by two scores. Why not make it three, possibly? And keep this drive going. Otis Selly should have kept running to the side, not trying to put it up field so quickly. I think he would have got there. But Hernandez is the one to stop that one from getting there. And now it is the end of the first quarter. Detroit Power, 14 Seattle Natives. Nothing. The 
punt him now for the Detroit SC. Why are they going for the punts? But it will be taken at the 15, trying to break free, but going nowhere there as he gets stopped at the 17. That's Dallas Crawford on that one. So let's see what the Seattle names do here. Do they focus more on pulling you? Because I guess their game plan is kind of switched now because they don't have Timothy Morgan anymore, so. First and ten now for the, the natives. Poe. One. Throw away that picked. David Medina. And that's another pick six. Oh no. Another touchdown for Medina. Talk about a great game, game. Don't know what Kern Poe was thinking there. And he threw that interception. David Medina is pretty much jogged into the end zone there. Looking for Colin Mew, but Medina kind of bait him. I'm almost picked. So now, I don't know if the Seattle Knicks are just slipping now, but Detroit's coming to play. And the PAT is up, and it is good. As a Detroit fan, this is fun to watch, but as a Seattle Knicks fan, I'm probably dying inside. I'm not a Seattle Knicks fan, but I'm a Detroit Power fan. So, this is great for me to watch. Love to see that defense doing. And we were put down on defense this week. We were put to number four, which I don't get. We had a top three or two defense. I don't know which one was. Let me look at that quick. I don't see that. Yeah, we're our... No, we're the number three defense. We were at the number two spot, but like... The business went past us, which is okay, but I think we're better at defense than the Miami Wave. So, that's just my opinion. Full and you coming out four rushes, zero yards today. Names might want to change that. We're down 21 nothing here, and it's still early in the game. So if we look at David Medina for the season, we'll look at him after this play. First and ten for this offense. Natives, giving it to you. Quon you trying to power power his way up to the 23. That's a hard three yards to get there. David Medina has 113 points on this season. If he has the two touchdowns, that's 130, 150. So if he has a really, really good game today. He could be going for the top 10 in the MVP, too. He'd have to keep up a good season, but if you want to be like William Torres and Roald Lemus, so he could be one of those names. Kurt Poe getting chased. Nice throw on the run for Poe, and he gets three yards out of it, so that was a nice game. Third and three now, Power. I've been trying to keep these guys out for the first down, but there have been some two good plays. Two little plays with two good plays. Nice run by Golden Year and then a good pass by Poe. So third and three, let's see what this native team does. Poe on third down, throwing. That one batted away by the D-line. And that's a fourth and three now. This native team just seemed different without Timothy Morgan. That was batted up by the D-lineman. And the punt hits the 10. Oh, and that's going to be a good punt. That one goes to the two-yard line. As that's great punting by the Natives. Their little six rushes, 47 yards, and one touchdown. 7.8 on yards per carry so far so he's been doing so far so good you can keep those numbers up you could have 
almost 200 yards at the end of the game, and we kept that up for every quarter. Be around 200 yards, four touchdowns, and be good. Now, first and ten, different, difficult situation for the power. Little up the middle. He's not making this difficult anymore. As that's a lot of spaces. He gets it up to the 16 and 14 yards. And a first down power. He's not getting stopped. As that's another great run by Terry Lou. I, I can't. This O line just seems to, to amaze me every time. They're just opening up the gaps. And Terry Lou is just exploiting them. This O line and halfback duo work and sink, and it just seems to amaze me. First and 10 now to 16. Still has a lot of room to go with, but Richardson trying to make that different. Oh, to Stelle! Stelly making a juke. The big man juked you out. That's just sad. And that's a first down Detroit power. The big man gets in the yards. That's Richardson. Perfect pass there to Stelly. First and ten now for the power again as they're cruising. This one, Tay Little always gets wrapped up and dropped for a loss. That was a nice come off the edge by Walter Sanders there. That one sucked for two yards. See, Tay Little's had explosive plays and then he's had like two or three of these plays. The no line just didn't do their job there and he got down. Couldn't seal off Sanders on the edge, but Sanders is a good player, so it's hard to seal him off sometimes. Second and 12 now for the power. Another handoff for Little. This one time up the middle. Little trying to make some space, and he gets up to the 49. Third and three now as Bruce Goodman got the tackle. As Let's see what the power play on here. If they don't get this... You could go for it. You're in the middle of the field. I kind of get why they punted it last time, but fourth and inches, man. I would have went for it. Third and three now. Let's see if they go pass or play action. Maybe even a... Oh, it looks like maybe a counter here. And it is Tara Little. Oh, that's a wrong juke. I, went, I would have cut to the left. Oh, no. Little. And he swallowed up for a loss. Stefan Hernandez. If you watch this play again... He had a wide open lane to the left, but he cut back, and that's what hurt him. And that is now a fourth down. Great defense there by the natives. And the punt team's out now. And, oh, what, my bad. We are back, sorry for the technical difficulties. And, uh, let's get this one keep going. First and ten now for the natives. As current Poe and the offense get back up, trying to get some points and make this deficit less. Poe, throwing this one, you. Needs a little help to get you down. And, that is complete for five yards. 54 yards for... Seattle right now is calling you as four of those, being two receptions and four yards. Nicholas Stone to get the tackle. Him and Medina have been dynamic at that line back and forth right now. Second and five. Poe. Throwing this one caught. Chubb Romero. And he's down at the 29. This will be a third and one situation. Can Detroit hold him or can, can, or can Seattle? I keep almost saying no. Team they actually are. Seattle hold them off. Looks like it's a safety blitz here from Detroit. 
Clone you. Going up the middle, I think he got it. Yes, first down, Seattle Natives. It's pulling you. So I'm running up the middle and he got there. Yes. Detroit's kind of known for their lack of defensive tackle, but that's the part we need to have. Nicholas Stone could have had the angle on him and got him down, but not to be as Seattle gets to first there. First and ten, you running this one up the middle. That's stuffed. Three Detroit Power members to get in there, and two of those, Nicholas Stone, David Medina, they've been all over the field tonight. You're in close to the two-minute warning. As starting to look like the Vikings Broncos game, but like the Broncos were a lot worse than the Power. <laughs> Natives, pulling you. They're starting like the first half of the Broncos. If I can see that's what I mean. Like the Vikings were losing and they were the better team against the Broncos and seeing how they're supposed to be the better team to the trip on. Did anyone watch that game? I did. I did. I was at that game. <laughs> I mean the bag. But yeah, um, third and nine now for the Seattle Natives. Poe. This one, caught, Sheldon Romero, and that's short, way short of a first. That's the fourth and eight now. Pun formation now for the natives. And this one, high sky. And it's gonna be another one inside the five. It's gonna be at the five, they're gonna call, but it's like right behind the five. So, that's another good punt by the Seattle team. And if I'm to try, I might just start taking these out. Oh, here's Taylor Little a little bit of my. Oh, they're actually showing Taylor Little get stuffed. I don't know why, but he's been doing monster things, so I don't know why they're showing him getting stuffed. Okay, Madden. Sure. Just hide the fact that we're winning 21 nothing, but I'm going to get a little biased. My team is being the best team in the league right now, so. Power on first down. This one. Caught. As gets it up to the 10. That was a pretty good wide receiver screen. Six yards there. Theodore Norman, his first catch of the game. At a point, he had the most touchdown receptions in the league. That was a while ago. I think in week six when he got three touchdown catches in one game. Detroit did really good in that game. Let's go, Second and four, Richardson. This one's a little, little trying to power, but he gets only two yards. I guess I thought that was going to be less, so I'm fine with that. Third and three. Now for the Detroit power. They're in 12, so don't want to give up this great field position to natives. So they're going to try to convert here, I think. Two minute warning now. The Detroit power up 21. So the Seattle name is nothing right now. At the 12, th third and three. The Detroit's really wanting to get this done. Richardson. Bowen, this one. That's caught on the sideline. And that's a first down. I didn't, I didn't know who he was throwing to. I thought he was throwing to that tight end on the out route, but he's throwing to Walter Pratt. He gets the reception. And that's the first down for this Detroit Power Team. Now it's two minute warning time. We got a long ways to go on the field, but let's see if they can get it done here. Nice quick thinking there by Pratt. And Richardson, too. That was a nice connection for a first. The outside linebackers in Seattle aren't known for really being good, so. Where you can think they did wrong there. First and ten, Richardson. Going this one up the middle. That's caught by Otis LA. A great catch by the big tight end. 
I'm pretty sure he's getting older in his career, so who knows how long he'll be a power player anymore. But that was a great catch. And I think he's one of the best. I think he could be. I think he might be the best tight end in the league. He's underrated because you can see, like, Ch Chet Woods with all these catches. Sean Romero with all those touchdowns. But Otis Dell is a great playmaker, and I think he's underrated. First and ten. Now, 114 left to go in the half. This one, Richardson. Going, that's caught in the curl. Here's the thing where you gotta hurry up. Richardson has not missed a pass this whole entire half. Peter Morse with the tackle there. I don't know why they haven't tested out Hugh Brooks and um, Paris Mastor in one-on-one -on -one yet, because there's a 20 overall difference from the number one corner Hugh Brooks. So, I test this at one point. They're not playing close together, though, that's the thing. Richardson, second and four. This one, oh, incomplete. That, looking for Hugh Brooks there. But that one is not to be. So that was his first incompletion of the day. Third and four now. There's 26 seconds left to go in the first half. Richardson, third and four. This one, Hugh Brooks. Cut. He sheds off a tackle. He sheds up two more. Hugh Brooks down the sidelines into the 23. What a play there by the number one rated receiver in Detroit. He sheds off three people in that play. Watch this again. Hugh Brooks gets the catch. Sheds off one. That's Peter Morris. Sheds off two more. And he keeps running. If he could have made a juke there, that one could have maybe been a touchdown. What athleticism by Hugh Brooks there. Make them look like the Wii Sports people when you hit them with the sword in the sword fight. First and 10, 17 seconds left to go. Detroit may be looking for another touchdown to make this embarrassing in the first quarter. Richardson. This one thrown. And that's caught to Brooks again. Second and six, 13 seconds left to go. Maybe trying to get more in the able to get touchdown range. Nice little passes can do just fine. As Seattle hasn't shown a way to stop them yet. At the 19 now, Richardson, this one throwing, that's caught. I'm out now for the Detroit Power as they threw a little drag up the middle. Now it's a third and two at the 15. Theodore Norman, third, three receptions, 16 yards. That was Bruce Goodman to get him down there. Power eight seconds at the 15 yard line. First, they need a first down before they go anywhere. Two timeouts and plenty of time to possibly still get a touchdown, but gotta make some quick passes here. Half back screen, a little, little trying to make some room in two seconds left at the five yard line. So they might take their points here, but what an effort by little. First and goals. Let's see what Detroit does here. It's obviously gonna be the last play. So do you take your guaranteed points or do you try to go for the touchdown? Personally, I'd go for the touchdown here because I think this this offense started at the two no the five yard line, so they've obviously earned the right to get this touchdown, in my opinion. So, coach, put them in one more play. Let's see that touchdown. Let's see what they do here in one second. They're gonna go for the field goal. Gosh, dang it! All right, two seconds left. They go the safe route and go for the field goal attempt. Now the field goal is up, and it is good! As now we hit halftime, with the Detroit Power up 24, Seattle Natives, nothing. As this game just didn't start off right for the Seattle Natives, you got the strong first drive from the Detroit Power, then Timothy Morgan goes down from the fumble recovery from Nicholas, Nicholas Stone's fumble, and then David Medina picked that one up and scored that one. 
And that's where it really started going downhill with the natives. Let's see if they can bounce themselves back up in this app. They need a lot of points, but they're capable of it. So see you guys in one second. We are back for the second half of this game. Detroit, so far, having a great dominance in the first half. We'll see if they can keep that through the second half. Now for the, the kickoff, and let's get this second half underway. Natives taking this one down, they'll start at the 25. Here comes up the offense, and we'll see what they can do on this half. The well, Madden's is going to show the many picks, the pick and the fumble Kern Poe has had, but they'll show Taylor Logan creamed. Okay. Okay, Madden. I see your bull grab. First and ten now with the Seattle's. Probably counter to the right, if I'm thinking correctly. Yes, Cole New up the middle and gets hit at the 26. As he's not even over 10 yards today yet. As someone in the MVP race, you can't be doing this. Well, I've got to help him get those yards. Second and nine now. Well, new up the middle running, and he is hit and dropped at the 33. Third and two now. As we see if the Detroit Power can stop them again, or will Seattle finally have a breakthrough? Third and two, let's see what happens here. I do think he run again. They've been doing so good so far. Cole New running down to first down. Hard running gets Cole New the first there. David Medina gets the tackle. Pressures his body so he can get that first. And that's a good start to the drive for Seattle. Three runs and you get a first. Now I think you gotta take a little stress off you and throw a pass here. Doesn't need to be a big pass, just a bullet pass. I think. Poe, first and ten, throwing this one. That's caught Sheldon Romero. And that gets to the 49. That's a good play there. Now the drive's going somewhere. Sheldon Romero, four receptions, 21 yards so far. Zachary Bryant, the number one corner, to get the tackle. This one. Oh, launch that one. That's picked. It's Sammy Hansen, the second string corner. He's trying a quick little pass there. And that one's not working out. That's his second interception thrown in the game. And that's his fifth on the season. Sammy Hansen. He was looking for Mark Berry for his first catch of his career. But Sammy Hansen stretches it out. And he was the real receiver in that play. Is that Sammy Hansen's first interception of the season? Detroit is actually the number one team in turnovers right now in the JSFL. First and ten now for the Detroit. I mean, yeah, for Detroit. Taylor Little running up the middle, and that's a first down. Well, rush is 79 yards and a touchdown for Little, and she's been insane on the ground so far. Now 
There's no way no one's catching up to him for the MVP race. There's just no way he can't. First and ten. My receiver scream. This one. Oh, juked. I think that is Nidor Nor Walter Pratt. My bad. That's a nice receiver screen. That's a first down. This Detroit's making this native team look like fools out here. A nice juke there by Walter Pratt. The thing if the natives had um Timothy Morgan this game would have went a little differently, but kinda shook them all. Because injuries aren't often in this league. Little runs out runs the the bath. I mean, out runs wherever the defensive person was. That was a great run. Well, catch. 160 passing yards right now for the power. A little less 40 of those. One of them's being a fourth down conversion. Brendan Brook with the tackle. Richardson, nice little trick up, but they probably would have been better to run the other way. Less people seem to come from that way. Second and eleven now for the power. Let's see what they do. Okay, maybe a stretch formation, maybe a counter now looking like to the left. Yes, it is a counter. Little gets nowhere on that play. Stuffed again. This time goes back two yards. As the natives maybe finally figured out what they're doing here on the power side of the wall. I think here you gotta go with the pass. I know how much yards low can get on a play, but you gotta go Richardson in the pass game here. Maybe this is the time where you test your Brooks. It might not be the best situation, but look at that one on one coverage. Could that's the one safety, but as I see. I think here's where you test. No, they throw it up Otis Stelle right up the middle, but I think actually Hugh Brooks was in the end zone. I could be wrong, but Otis Stelly gets the first down, no problem, and that's first and goal. That's when he needed, when he needs to be there, he makes that catch. He's been all over this defense already. Four catches, seventy-four yards for him already. First and goal, 15, rush, 15, pass, it's been a pretty solid diversity of offense. This one, wide receiver screen, he misses the tackle, touchdown, Detroit Power. That one was Theodore Norman. That one goes in for the touchdown. If you're that defender, you probably got to be frustrated that he misses that tackle. And now it's 30 to nothing. And could be 31 with this extra point. Detroit. Oh, the PAT is blocked. See how could get some points here. 40. He's a long ways to run. Can he get there? 40, 30, 20, 10, no, shorts, oh my gosh, by a yard, not even, rush to get there, you have to be kidding me, you was so close, oh my gosh, you sure that wasn't in? 
Oh, the long snapper, the one that gets him. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Can't even get those one points. They won't even allow it. But now it is Detroit Power up by 30. As this game pretty much already seems to be decided. Middle in the third quarter, but... They're just going to have to have one heck of a comeback. Now this one, taking it at the 25, that's where they'll start the drive. First and ten now from the natives. See what they do on this drive. This one, you, you, nice little juke there, and he tucks in that one is for nine yards. That looks more like he was running. Saw that the outside wasn't working out, did a nice little juke there, and even did a little tuck at it in. That's a great cut by you there. And the, even does a tuck over Elias Moss, the safety. Kara Allison free safety on there. And second and short now for the natives. After a nice run by Cole Needham. Poe. This one. Read option, but he goes nowhere. That's a sack. I oh, know, they're going to call it a rush, my bad. But that one, Jesse Mendez. The defensive end to bring that one down. I like the play call, but... Mendez was there, so... Just need to be better blocking about the tackle. Third and three now. Let's see what they do. Oh. Well, I mean, that's incomplete. Had it in the hands of what I think is Romero, but I'm not for sure. Now it's fourth down. You got to go for it here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You need the points. Go for it. I might have been Christian Young to back up tight end, but I'm not for sure. There's no way the punt team comes on here. And the punt team's on. And the punt is away. So that's pretty much game set match already. And this one's taken out at the 19. Nice punt return. That would actually could have been a free if he didn't have the final tackle on. Wells with the return there. Now it's first and ten to thirty five, that's good field position for the power. As the Navies need big plays and they need them quick and fast. Fast and furious. First and ten now for the power. Richardson fakes it to Lil. Throwing downfield deep. Oh, it's picked. He had Brooks, but that is picked. Trying to turn it up the field, and that goes to the 43. Sheldon Lee, the three safety that can do it all. I already told you how I think of Sheldon Lee, and he did not disappoint. He lets he does not let that secondary down at all. As he had Brooks, but that one should have went higher. Lee was right on top of that one, and. If you're going to make a play like that, ugh, dang. They finally tested Brooks, but he tested him too early. Sheldon Lee is the only, I think, Sheldon Lee is such a good player, and if he stays on the, if he stays on the natives, 
that secondary is just going to be pretty good. It don't matter if you have like two terrible corners and a bad strong safety. He just makes up the whole pretty much deep secondary. He's just that good. Sheldon Lee, let's look on. He already made a game saving interception last week. Let's look at his interception on the year. He had the one interception last week and now this interception this week, so he's two on the year. This one looking like a counter. And it did. Oh, fake. Play action. Poe. Poe. Fumbles. Oh, leap. I mean, Romero picks it up, and that one goes back nine yards. Thank God Romero's there, they're thinking right now. Oh, trying to throw that one away, but that was hit right in his hands. And then Bryant takes down Romero. And that's pretty much almost a sack, I guess. Nice hit there to force the fumble on Poe. I don't know who that was, but... Second and 19 after the big play. Yeah, I'm thankful they had the ball. Oh, throwing this one. Contested for Mark Berry, and that one is incomplete. Third and 19, they need a big play here. Five receivers on this play, no backs. Obviously, then you throw it. Poe, throwing this one. Oh, contested again. That one is not to be, as it's incomplete for Dallas Crawford. Trying to get to Dallas Crawford, hoping he can make the play, being the number one receiver on the field. But that was not going to be, as he was fighting against Zachary Bryant there, who just has the edge on Crawford. Maybe not um, Morgan, but he had the edge on Crawford by all means. Now the punt team comes on again. Don't know why, but here comes the punt, and the power will have the ball again. See what they, if they cannot throw an interception this time as they get out to the 26, we're going to call it. Now first and ten. Richardson throwing this one. Brooks Brooks spins off the tackle and gets it for a first down. That was a nice play by Hugh Brooks. Ernest Holman for the tackle. Oh, I mean, Richardson gives it to Little, and Little trucking for only one yard, but he hasn't got much, many yards for a while, but they have 100 rushing yards now for right. I don't know who has the other 30, but beats me. Oh, yeah, the wide receiver screen is still. Second and nine now for the power. Richardson. This one thrown and caught. That is Walter Pratt. Now he has 200 yards on the game. Not a touchdown throw yet, but he has 200 yards. Third and inches now for the team. This one, third and inches. Wide receiver screen. Hugh Brooks gets the first. That was a nice thing by Hugh Brooks instead of getting tackled right away. Bruce Goodman to get the tackle. Hugh Brooks turned that one up right away. He got the first there. 
That's a great play by Hugh Brooks. Good quick thing by Richardson. Now they have another first down, so they're winding out the third quarter now. One more play of the third quarter, and it might be done. First and ten now for the power. This one's a little. Little trying to work his way up, gets his bounce off, and gets to the 43. Over 80 yards now for Will. John Lee with the tackle there. Second and three now. Richardson hands this one off to Little up the middle. Little breaks through the line. Gets this one up to the 31 as he is over his 95 yards, 17 rushes, and one touchdown to end the third quarter. 30 to nothing right now, but the power have been getting less points and less points every quarter, but it doesn't seem to matter anymore. It's, they're probably mostly concerned about just why not the clock now because all they need to do. The Knaves would have to get three points every single minute if they wanted to tie. Knaves on first down at the 31. Little. Running this one up the middle. Almost breaking the tackle, but gets it into the red zone at the 14. Over 100 yards now for Taylor Little, averaging 6.2 a carry. That's another breakout game to his great start of his career. Great start of this, yeah, career. They all start the career. Might be old, young, but started the career otherwise. First and ten now for the power. Little. This one right up the middle and gets it to the 11. Second and seven now. Third and seven now. The powder here. Richardson and the offense out at the eleven yard line. Just need to get to the four for first. Richardson, third and seven, needs to get the ball off. I use his legs. He slides. For no reason. Richardson slides there and sport down. He could have ran that one, could have been some yards. Probably a first down, but no, he slides and goes for only a yard. And the field goal is good, and it's 33 nothing now. This game is pretty much over. Richardson, I mean not Richardson, Detroit Power kicked this one away and it will be taken in at the 2, see how far they get this one, up to the 22, let's see what they do on this drive, here they got points in the 4th quarter like they did last game.
First and tag. Now for the natives. Let's see what they do here. They're probably the only one in the backfield now. Poe. Throwing this one downfield deep. That's caught. That one. Fred Williams. For his third reception of the game. Hasn't had one since the first quarter in that first drive, but it's another one. Been pretty much shut down for the past game for the uh, natives, but there's a pass there. Detroit's allowed 24 rushing yards and 117 total yards now for natives. Fred Williams, 33 of those in three receptions. Another signal he played to the back. Oh, first and ten. Throwing this one caught as he brings it up for another first down, and now they're on the short side of the field. Quick plays now for Seattle. Yeah, they're doing pretty good now. First and ten for the natives. Poe, throwing this one. This is you. You does a little bit of a cutback. Don't know why. But this is now second and four. He was 10 yards receiving. Stone with a tackle. Second and four now for the Seattle Natives. Poe. And this one, going for John Romero, bounced off his hands in. Almost had a chance to grab, but he could not come up with it. Third and four now for the Natives. Big play here for both sides of the ball. Troy trying to get that shutout. Parent Post launches that one. Mark Berry, his first catch of his career. And that one is one of the biggest plays of the night for this team. Mark Berry, 14 yards. That was a nice dot by Poe. Berry came up with it. He's, he wasn't gonna think he wasn't thinking he was gonna be in catches tonight. Davis in field goal range, but they're thinking a lot more than field goal right now. This one, you. You trying to break some tackles, but gets it nowhere. No, it's just Jordan Campbell, my bad. Curtis Townsend with the tackle there. Second and ten now for the Natives. Oh, throwing this one. Oh, that's hit, and that was nasty hit on Colin you, I think that was. But now it's a third and ten for the Natives. As here comes another struggle, see if they can get past it. Third and ten now for the Natives. Poe. Oh, and this one down deep to the end zone. Oh, in the hands. Almost could have been an interceptor there. Looking for Dallas Crawford down deep. And now it's fourth down. So do they go for this or just take some points and not get the shutout? That's probably the most embarrassing thing to get shut out in this league. And I don't think anyone's got shut out yet, so they don't want to be the first ones. Especially, they're considered the best team in the league uh, before this week. Maybe not after this week, but so far they were. Fourth and ten, the field goal unit comes out, so they don't want to get shut out. Four two yards. This one up, and it is good as now the depth sink goes from 33 to 13. 517 left in the fourth quarter as they finally score here in fourth.
first. And the kickoff is away as the power will get in again. Taken out to the 21. 22. As we are back, first and ten. Five fourteen left in the game here. Troy probably trying to just wind it down and get the victory. Well, the victory's already secured, but Richardson on play. He's gonna run. Forty. Fifty. Oh, he's gonna juke him out there, but Richardson, that's why he is dangerous with those legs. Because that was thirty yards there. They tried to play Poe did earlier, but that's also why Richardson's better on the ground game, I think. Look at that play. If that safety wasn't there, that probably could have went. Nice play by Richardson in the offense. Now they're up to 49 of the natives. Little with this one. Little breaking some scenes and he gets up to the 30 yard line. 134 yards now, 8 yards after the contact. Paris Mass is credited with the tackle there. They might score another touchdown before they even grind, grind out the clock. Jeez. 4-13 left in this game. 30, let's see what they do here. Little again. Little, chucking it up to the 23. He is on pace to go to 150 yards. Pretty easily here. Second and three as they're just going to try to line up the clock now. There's no point to use a timeout. Even then, even when it gets under two minutes. Second and three, let's see what the power do here. I see your screen. Theodore Norman, don't go out of bounds. He went out of bounds. Okay. That's the point not to go out of bounds, guys. Four steps and 21 yards for Theodore Norman. At the 18 yard line inside the red zone, let's see what they do here. Richardson throwing. Gets this one out to Walter Pratt. Now it's second and five. Second and five, let's see what they do here now. One more play, and that should get them to the two minute warning. Richardson, second and five, he's gonna run with this one. Don't fumble, gets it to the one yard line, almost to the end zone. That's a first stand goal, natives. I mean, power, my bad. Been screwing up everything tonight. Richardson almost got that one next yard. Hernandez is not going to let that happen. As he was holding on for dear life there. Is this we'll probably takes down to the two minute warning. As it is two minute warning. Detroit Power 33 as they already have pretty much wrapped this one up. in Seattle Natives 3. They got the rematch they wanted. and Last time when they were at Detroit they got... Beat by the natives, so now they bring it to Seattle and beat the natives. First and goal, see what they do here. Pretty much nailed the clock, but they're not. They're looking for a touchdown here. Richardson goes in. That's a touchdown. Detroit Power. Sean Richardson, the sixth rushing touchdown of the season. And they just make this score even higher. Those no took the two, three kneel downs and called a game. No think Seattle might not use the timeouts, but no. They got the extra points, and that just rubs it in Seattle's face now. The extra point is up, and it is good. Seven plays, six, 79 yards, and three minutes and 16 seconds. That drive.
So that's right down there. It's the record, new record for the team. Troy Power, assuming they're going to win this one, will go 6-3. and three, And the Natives will fall 7-2 during their second loss on the season. Kickoff is off and it is away. And it will be taken out 6 all the way up to that 27-yard line. And they have 1 minute 53 seconds. Do they just try something here? I think so. So, that's Crawford taking out. I think they'll just try some plays here, try to get some yards. Try something for next week, maybe. First and ten. Poe. Oh, and this one, that is incomplete. The pressure forced that one away. And it is second down now with 150 left to go in the game. Offense breakdown, 14 rush, 26 pass, I think that said. So, it's been a heavy pass offense. Throwing this one, he drops it. No pressure or anything, but he just dropped it. That's just different. This offense has been different for like the last two or three weeks. Ever since the LA Earthquake, and it hasn't seemed the same since when they were starting 6 and 0. The last three games, they're going to go 1 and 2 now. Poe, rushing this one, he's down! Sacked by Matthew Harmon. He's getting his second sack of the game. He is that edge threat, and he shows in here. Now it's fourth and 19. If you're Seattle, do you even go for this or just punt it away? And hopefully Detroit doesn't score another touchdown on you. Oh, trying to run out of the pocket, but that was side Matthew Harmon was on, and I wouldn't run, run that side either. Still 1.30 left to go, and they're going to go for this. If not, this could be another touchdown for Detroit. They don't make this. Oh, looking down deep. That one's picked off. As he gets it up to the 33, is that Carol Allison. Detroit's free safety now getting an interception. That is Kermit Poe, I think, third interception of the game. Since he just took a shot, I don't think he even cared at this point. Bounced off the hands of Romero and went right into Kara Allison's hands. He's been throwing too many quick passes. Romero can't be like that. I mean, he's a good, he's a good catcher, but like he's not that good at getting contested catches. Now the power get it and the four. 43 yard line. It probably would have been better if they just let it hit the ground so they could have got the turnover on down to get the better field position. But, you know, this power offense might be so good they might score another touchdown. Who knows? Or they might just try to run it out. That'd be like the play thing would do, but who knows? Turnovers four for Seattle and only one for Detroit. Say a little. First down. He gets this one up to the 30 yard line. He is over 150 yards now in the game. And Sheldon Lee was able to tackle there. The offensive line has just been dominating the line pretty much the whole game. And they're not going to stop now. Thirty-eight seconds left in the game, so this is probably the last play. If they run it. Yes, it's Little. Little up the middle. That one rhymed. Little with his probably last rush of the game, 23 rushes, 159, and one touchdown on the game. It was a good game and all, but Natives lose by 37. That's just sad. If you're coming into this game with the obvious advantage and get creamed that bad, oof. And that is game. The Detroit Power snagged this one from the Natives.
as they win 40 to 3. So they go 6 and 3. And the natives, the best team in the league for, as of uh, about two hours ago, are now 7 and 2. And who knows if they'll be the next best team, best team next week. I don't think so, but we'll have to see. As this was a good game. Not at all what I expected. I thought it would be a pretty close one. But the power get it done. That was a good game. But I will see you guys on the 1 p.m. matchup. Our first one of the week is on Sunday. I mean, yeah, Sunday, 1 p.m. It is the Yellow Monsters, Phoenix Yellow Monsters, 6-2, and two, going after 6-2 and two musicians. So if one of those teams win, I think they're already going to be better than Seattle News. But we'll see. I we go to 1 p.m. on Sunday. But that's it from Seattle. And I'll see you guys in New Orleans.